Hey y'all, it's Megan. Welcome back to the channel. Glad y'all are here today. If you're new to the channel, me and my husband live on about 18 acres in the foothills of North Carolina. We grow about 80 to 90% of our own food all the time, expanding our homestead, which is what today's video is about, uh, using every, every little square inch that we can um, for something useful. So we have 90 strawberry plants. They just went away from me. <laughs> 90 strawberry plants that we're gonna plant around the farm today. So we're just gonna bring you along with us. So we've got some strawberry plants up here in the front flower beds, but we're gonna add a few more. <laughs> what is it, Tiger? Yeah, dig it all the way back to it, down into the dirt. So y'all, we've already got several strawberries in here. Um, and these are 18 to a tray. And the best we can figure, we should have about 90 strawberry plants here. And we're just gonna randomly plant strawberries in all of our beds around the house here. And we kind of got the idea from uh, Billy at Permafashion Farm showing him using strawberries for ground cover. Um, and so that's what we're going to do here and I'm hoping that it works and Dude, that this whole, that one. yes, hey, we'll get you one right there they are. Do you know how to pop it out? I'm hoping that this is eventually just covered You're with strawberries. That would be awesome because we love strawberries. So that's what our goal is here to see if that's going to work or not. If not. We'll get something out of them. Push up from the bottom. And my personal goal is I have to buy strawberries every year, which I buy them from a local farmer, so that's that's fine. Um, I enjoy supporting them as well, but I would like to be able to have enough strawberries here that I won't have to buy strawberries for all my strawberry jam that I make. Um, Y'all be on the lookout for that video eventually sometime this spring whenever I have enough strawberries to make it. So y'all, um, you may or may not remember our brandy wine tomato that was growing over here in front of the house this year, but there's more coming back already. We have this one. That right there. Um, that's all I see right now. Jacob, don't step on those. I'm not. I just 
But um, I just think that's cool that that tomato comes back every year. Obviously, it's from the seed from the tomatoes that were left there. But um, still pretty cool that, you know, if you've got a place like that and you let a couple of the tomatoes rot out, they'll come back every year. And that thing made some good tomatoes last year, too. But um, anyways, we're going to put more in this area right here and then more on the other side of the front porch steps over there. So now we're heading down the hill. We've renamed this location over here close to the pigs, Berry Hill. We've got, um, Andy likes to call this over here where all the apple trees are. He calls that Apple Valley. And we started calling this over here, Berry Hill because we have um, blackberries, muscadines, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries. And we're getting ready to add a few more. We got blackberries, the corner blackberries. We got a couple raspberry plants down here. We've already got a few strawberries and we're and adding more. And we've, we've got a and we've got about 10, 10 or 12 blueberry plants and two muscadines. Uh, so we named this Berry Hill. And as you said earlier, this is Apple Valley, which it's not all apples. There's a couple peach trees and some pears up there towards the top. But uh, we just thought it was called, cool to call it Apple Valley. Well, everything right here is apples. Are, are apples. Apple Valley! Yeah, pears and peaches over there. <laughs> and y'all can be on the lookout for an upcoming video. We're going to make another apple orchard. Or another orchard. It'll have more than just apples. Up on our other piece of land that y'all seen Emily, in the previous Emily, video. Emily!
check this out. It's nothing but a cut and a piece that I pruned off of the blackberries here. And then it got covered up with mulch when we mulched all this. And look at the roots that it's putting out. And I'm assuming it would have been a plant there, a plant there, and one out there on the end. But Several uh, strawberry plants planted. So maybe we'll get some yield off of them. We'll see. And hopefully they'll help keep the weeds down uh, by covering the ground. So anyways, I appreciate y'all watching today and I'll see y'all on the next one.